What's up guys and welcome back to another video and the start of my new series. So basically before the uh, Deadman tournament I was doing a series max set from one item and I actually built my bank up to about 300 to 400 mil and I finished the gold max set which was full arms and arcane stuff like that. So right before the Deadman tournament I sold everything and swapped it over. So I'm not really doing this series by choice. Basically the only stuff I really have left is an AGS and about 7 mil cash. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to rebuild all that money, I might as well make a series out of it. So today is going to be the first episode of Max Set from AGS. Now, if you guys do remember in the last uh, series, you guys all wanted me to go for Ancestral. But I thought it would kind of just be boring if I was only doing Deep Wild Peking to go for like 100 mil items. It would take too long. So in this series, I'm going to go for full Ancestral. I'm going to go for full Armadil, full Bandos, full everything. Like the maximum stuff you can get offensive gear-wise. So I'm not going to be going for an Ellie. But Ancestral, everything else, I'm going to be going for. So, I'm starting with an AGS. That's the end goal. We're going to take a look at my bank right now. I've cleared most of it, but I just couldn't be bothered with a lot of shit. So, there's a bunch of junk stuff in there. If we take a look at the cash stack, it's 7.6 mil. I don't really need this because I'm doing the series. That's all I had left. So, I guess I'll just do a quick 7.6 mil giveaway with it. If you guys want to enter, just hit that like button and comment down below your RSN. Whatever, it's 7.6 mil. I don't know if you guys really want that. And uh, yeah, we have non-tradables, so we have five Dragon Defenders, our Unholy Books, and our Book of Darknesses, a Looting Bag, and our Fire Cape. Now, I'm actually going to drop the Barrow's Gloves and drop and dissolve the Tentacle right now. I guess I can uh, sell the sell the Abyssal Tentacle and add that to the giveaway, so it'll be about like 9 mil, and I'm just going to drop the Barrow's Gloves. So, this is what we're starting with, and I think the first thing that we're going to do is go loot for 30 minutes and see how much money we can make. So yeah, the final cash stack is about 8.6 mil. I'm just going to trade that over to my uh, alt account right now so I don't use it. And all you have to do to enter is just like the video, uh, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below your RSN. And I'll just give that away next episode because we're doing this with an AGS. Anyway, let's get looting. Alright, so my plan was to loot for about 30 minutes and just see how much money we can make. I only needed around like 250k to go do my starting PKing. I didn't want to waste all this time just like trying to get a lot of money so I could go deep out ancient PK and mystics. I was really just going to go completely rags, solid ropes, TVs and entangles and try and make a couple mil like that so we could get the PKing off to a good start. So 300k is all we needed, so we looted a bunch of sharks, looted a bunch of carambons, anything we could get over it. Leftover brews would be the best. And uh, we just tried to build up as much money as possible. So at this point I'd already made about 100 to 200k from looting and I noticed I had a target. Now if you guys remember my first episode of my last uh, series, I killed my target and I got an emblem which was 100 and something k and that sped up the process a lot. Now you can see I tried doing the same to this guy, I spec him twice and I almost get the third hit in but he just runs into the states. I don't really know what he's doing, he looked like another looter. I'm not quite sure what he was doing. Anyway, I was just going to follow him around, see if he ran back in, because all I needed was one more hit to kill him. And sure enough, eventually he ran back in. I'm not sure what he was doing. And lucky for me, I did get an emblem, as it's not a 100% chance. You only, I, there's like a slight chance you get an emblem. So that was 140k, and we pretty much made all our money. And it was time to go PK, and we only needed around 300k, and that's what we got. So right now was me selling everything and all I needed was 250 to 300k to go PK at Green Dragons which is going to be my initial money making method. I was just going to go PK with TBs, Entangles, MSB, some really budget gear and just try and get some nice loots. Maybe fight a couple other newbie PKers because that's kind of the PKers you find around there. And I just wanted to make 1 to 1.5 mil because after I got that the series is pretty much like, you know, it was off to a really good start. Once you have a mill, I can buy all my stuff, which I need to go deep wild PKing with like Ancients and fight other PKers. And usually I'll actually be able to beat them and get some very nice loot. So we bought all our gear with around 250k, rune gloves, some salad robes, you know, Zertion robes, stuff like that. And we were pretty much ready to go hit up East Dragons. So I went and hit up East Dragons in a PvP world and found this 109 in like D-Shoes, Abyssal Whip, full Addy and a Glory. So I thought, okay, maybe he's been here a while or he's risking something. I'll just hit him up. And I quickly get the kill and obviously he didn't have that much risk. So I went down south and started attacking somebody else. And that's when I found another 100, level 108 PKer. He was in solid robes himself. I only had like barely any monkfish to my name. Not a lot of food. So if he fought back, I was probably just like fucked. But I just went on the, you know, the hunch that he'd kind of be scared of me. And I started to fight him.
identical. That's one mil. I've just peaked one mil. I've just made all the money I need to make already in just one kill. Oh my god, I need to get out of here. I've just made so much money. That's a crack in tentacle. I wasn't even like talking or anything because I didn't know how much money I was going to make, but I've already made one mil. I need to hop out of this world and get the fuck out of here. This guy had so many dragon bones as well. Jesus Christ. I actually just PK'd a mil off that crack in tentacle. I don't know what his plus one was. I just got so lucky. Legit just got so lucky. Okay, I can't waste any more time. I just need to get out of this world. And I'm going to sell that shit because we can go PK with ancients like right now. That is so lucky. That is honestly so lucky. Let me make sure I just have it. That is so lucky. Oh my god. So, we killed that PK, got a Kraken, which is about a mil, as well as all the other stuff was like 1 to 1, 1 to 1.2 mil, which was enough to go very budget deep wild ancient PK against other people. We got some stamina pots, a couple sharks. We're still PKing with the water stuff and salad robes, but we've got a rune crossbow, as well as the bolts we PK'd off that guy. You know, some really standard gear you'd see like some noobs wearing, but I should be able to get some nice like bolt to AGS kills on some big mystic guys. And our goal right now is to upgrade to a mystic set, get, I think just for this episode, get a mystic set and like start picking with like super combats, make that starting money so that if we die, we can go out again. And then we'll be looking to get a Sears ring and a room pouch. A room pouch is about 1.2 mil. A Sears ring is like 500k. So we're going to need to make about 2 mil. I'm not expecting it to make it all in this episode, but at least, you know, we've got the starting upgrades and we can go deep while PK now and hopefully get some nice loots. Oh shit, nope, I made a mistake. Wait, did I? I'm pretty sure this guy's a part of the gang. That, uh, people else- Oh, I killed him. Did I get a Debo? Any chance he didn't put Protect Item on? <laughs> I was just peeking at Debo. I think he has a team, because I was just fighting them earlier. But that's some really good loot if I can get out of here. That's like 400k? 600k? I don't really know. Okay. I can put this all in my looting bag, but the question is, do I want to? Because if his team comes right now, I'm standing in multi. That could be very bad. So, I'm going to try and put as much in as possible. Mainly the potions, I think, would be better. The brews, stuff like that. But I need to get out of here as soon as I see a white dog, because that could be really bad. Okay, a friend just logged in, but he can't attack me. We've got 600k in the bag right now. That's so nice. Oh, I thought he hit me for a second. We have to log out. Okay, we logged out because that guy logged in. But I, we got the Debo and most of the stuff inside the looting bag, and we just made 600k... That's insane. We're getting so lucky. Okay, his friend just logged in. I think I included the clip of firing him earlier. 634k in the looting bag. Let's go sell that Debo right now. And we can already make some upgrades. Alright, let's sell this Debo, see how much we can get for it. Uh, 400 and something k down. This, 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 this used to be one of the most expensive items. I don't know, I guess the game's been out five years. It probably shouldn't be that expensive anymore. Uh, we also need to sell the prayer bots because we're not using those anymore now that we're using Bruise and Restores. And we have gotten ourselves 681k. Now, I'm going to buy my Mystic right now. I'm going to get the Mystic top. Can I get a Spirit Shield as well? I think I will be able to get a Spirit Shield as well. Yeah, easily. Uh, do I want an Ancient Stuff yet? Or do I want to save the inventory space for the Water Rinse? Uh, these are the kind of questions I don't really know. Okay, let's. Okay, we got that just fine. Got the Spirit Shield. Let's get the Mystic bottom as well. We're going to have a, some money left over, but we're going to also need to spend them on supplies, because, like, brews and restores, that shit is expensive. Okay, yep, I think I'm going to go for the ancient stuff, because I just think it's the right investment. I'm not going to use the arm stuff at all this series, I think, because it is quite glitched right now, and I just don't think it's worth it. I'm going to need some water rings as well, because I'm using the water stuff. Uh, can we afford a Sears ring? Probably not. It's, like, probably going to take all the cash stack. Nah, I need more money for a Sears ring, but we have upgraded the setup. Very nice. That is very good. We have 347k left. I'm probably going to spend that on supplies because we've already kind of eaten into our restores a little bit. We're going to go PK. Try and get that Sears ring. Try and get that ring pouch. 121. I guess we can fight him. I don't know how well it's going to go with the supplies I have. Faggot. Huh. That's a, that's a way to start off the, the fight, isn't it? He just hits you with the F-bomb. What is he saying? R slicker? This guy this guy's one angry person. That's for sure. Let's hit him with a spec. Oh, I could have killed him right there. He didn't get his prayer on in time. Okay, I don't want to die to a D-Bolt, so let's just eat up. Holy crap. If he prayed range after that, I could have specked him out so easily. GL to both. Thank you, man. Oh my god, he's a noob. He's actually a noob. Oh my... I'm so unlucky with my specs. On every single person, I'm just so unlucky. 
bite me for a, a longer time, so maybe I can get a spec. Like, I'll have a spec in a minute. How does Mac dick taste? Uh, <laughs> how does Mac dick taste? I don't know, dude. How does it taste? You tell me, bro. That's a pyramid right there. I think he's gonna run, honestly. I don't think he's gonna stay and fight me. Seems pretty scared. Put a ball into him. He, this guy talks too much. Oh, he might actually die here. Might actually die here. He's getting angry because I spammed lol in the Twitch chat. Jesus. Come on. Hit, give me a 30 barrage, damn it. I'm gonna say, are you okay? That's gonna make him angry. Freeze him there. There we go. I can't spec him yet. He's, he's too high HP. Okay, that's gonna be my perfect time to spec him. And a demon PJs me right as I'm about to spec him and probably kill him. But, you know, he continues flaming me in the bank and tells me to go rematch him. And he was the freest loot I've ever seen, so of course I go fight him again. Alright, another fight with his flamer. I want to kill him so badly. Like, he was piping up so much. It's just the most satisfying feeling when you kill a flamer. He's already running south. I mean, uh, back to the gate. I kind of just want to fight him away from it for a little bit. Just whatever. Hopefully we can kill him. He's pretty bad. Should have killed him with both my specs, but... You know, it's an RNG-based game after all. We're just gonna try and do our best. He does... I don't know. It's, he's very KO-able. Like, his prayers aren't the best, so I should be able to kill him as long as I, get, I spec him off prayer on a decent HP. Should be able to kill him. I'm not sure, though. You know, RNG could just fuck me. I could get two zero specs or whatever. I'm sitting pretty low right now. Gotta be careful, because he can obviously kill, kill me as well, you know. Just because he's bad doesn't mean it's not possible for him to kill me if I take stupid risks. Catch a freeze there. Damn it. Put a ball into him. Zero, zero, zero. Very unfortunate hits right now. I think I'm frozen for like another couple seconds. I think I'm unfrozen right now, so if I get a big barrage, damn it, he prayed range. Or a good ball. Oh, he's got the prayers right now. I need to fake him out. Prayed mage there. Only a zero, an 11. Uh, I don't, those aren't the hits I need. Those are not the hits I need. I'm, I'm, for, I'm unfrozen right now. I was just going for a spec. Another zero, dude. So unlucky with these specs. I guess I do have rune gloves on, but it's honestly not the biggest difference. Okay, he's got a DDS, so I probably won't die. Spec him. Oh, I prayed melee. I don't want to waste it. I do not want to waste it. I really want to kill this guy. So I do not want to waste those specs. Catch a freeze. He's in robes right now. Come on. Damn it. Get a nice... Oh, I staff bashed him. That's awkward. I want a range pot right now, I think. Catch a freeze. Damn it. There we go, nice. Ah, oh, if he didn't freeze me right there, I could have gone for a spec. Full robes, I probably would have killed him. There we go, nice. He's ranging me right now. He's got Rune Plate Legs Tank, which isn't the best. I should be able to hit through it if I hit him off prayer. 30 freeze there, nice. Okay, I gotta set up a spec right now. I'm gonna be unfrozen in a little bit. Come on, change your prayers. Dead? He's running all the way. 48 spec, Jesus Christ, I'm so unlucky and he's running again. Let me catch this freeze. I've just misclicked like twice. He's running. I just need to like try and make him stay. That's the only thing I can do. Zero f freezes when he's brewed down. A range. There we go. Another big freeze. Put a ball onto him off his uh, prayer. I might be able to go in for a whack KO there. Oh, he's going to pray melee. That's perfect. 15 ball into the whack. 39? He's gonna be brewed down there. I need to catch a freeze. He's he's messing up so badly, but I'm splashing. Oh, I actually caught the freeze. Okay, there we go. Is he smited or something? Whack him. Zero. Okay, I think freezes will be best damage here. Nice. 26. He's on robes. I just have to whack him. He's on robes. Sit. Huh. Good fight, faggot. This guy was the most flamer, flamer person I've ever fought, and I just killed him for everything. You have no idea how satisfying that is, and that helps out the series right now. You should stream more? Yeah, you're probably right. I should. Either way, I get a Sears ring out of that. And we put down a Flamer. That just makes me very happy. Good fight to him. Did he have a lot of runes? Not really. Okay, first thing before we get the Sears ring is to go buy a pair of Barrow's Gloves, which will take quite a bit of chunk out of the cash stack. 394k. But we should still have enough to buy the Sears ring with everything we've PK'd. That's the hope. If not, we'll go do one quick PK trip. Uh, let's just get spec back real quick. And let's go buy the Sears ring if we can. Okay, we have 374k cash and everything we've uh, just PK'd, so let's sell that all. Should be more than enough for a Sears ring, honestly. 583k. Is that enough for it, Sears ring? Yep. 
we can get it for just under 500k and let's sell the rest of this shit just see what cash stack we can get up to don't need the nature ends anymore we're not peaking east dragons anymore we're, we're balling we don't need we don't need that anymore uh, we can sell the salad ribs too hopefully we won't have to ever go back to that during this series i'm expecting to die but i don't think it should be so bad that we have to go to salad ribs we're in play legs as well those are like the worst tank legs you can use how many needs not already got one and uh, that's our own ring crossbow. So we have 372k. Let's go and view this Sears ring. And uh, I think that's where we're going we're to end off this uh, episode. I've just choked on all my words. But we started with an AGS. We now have full Mystics, a Sears ring imbued, 400k cash. Enough supplies to go PK for a little bit. Next episode, we're going to go for that room patch and try and get ourselves a tent. Uh, which is about 2.5 mil. The room patch is about 1.2 mil. So we're going to have to make quite a bit of money tomorrow. And here's our imbued tears ring. Very nice. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and stay tuned for future episodes.